Hello and welcome back to another PAL World video. This video is going to be jam packed with some pretty cool looking glitches, if I must say so myself. Very, very nice looking glitches indeed. I think you will enjoy this video because I really, really like some of these. If you could drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel, that would be much appreciated. This first glitch here today is a really, really handy one if you've already caught the Black Marketeer. This involves him and it is insane, honestly. It's so much more convenient than having to get him in your inventory, deploy him into your base every single time you need to buy or sell a pal. This is the best thing to do possible, so what you need to do is you need to deploy a viewing cage like so. So I'm just going to plonk one down right here. So now you need to just build it and then set the Black Marketeer inside it, just him on his own. Okay, so I've just got rid of the tree next to it, so now we need a little bit of space like this, and we need to build a stone or wooden foundation on the floor. So if I just stick one on the floor here, it needs to be slightly angled towards the base. So like so, if I angle it that way, boom. So as you can see, it's slightly thinner there and it gets slightly wider towards the end. So now what we need to do is build a stone wall at the back like this. Very, very simple indeed. You just jump on it like this, halfway up and just climb to the right and you glitch yourself inside the viewing cage. And you can then just talk to him from here. Easy stuff, so I can just buy anything that I want. I don't have any money on me, so I can't do it. I can sell things like this. I've got all of these land balls for some reason. I have no idea why. What you need to do from here is just open it, take him out, and then put him back in. And then when you talk to him again, and then go to buy some new pals, he has a new range of different pals. I can show you again. So we get rid of him, put him back in, talk to him again, buy contraband, a new set of pals. Perfect stuff. And now you don't actually have to destroy it to get out. You just climb on the edge of the wall like this and just climb up to the top and you should be able to get yourself up. There we go. It can be a bit glitchy, hence it's called a glitch. Here is an insane glitch to get unlimited ammo, pal spheres and money in pal world. How easy is this? This is insane. Just look at this and listen to the noise it makes. This also got me to a wanted level that was over 500, which is actually insane. I've never seen a wanted level that high before. So right next to a base so you can spawn at it, you just put one stone foundation on the floor and then two upwards. After that, now build a 3x3 stone roof formation like on screen here. And you now need to build an extra 26, yes 26, up like this. So in total, including the two below, you'll have 28. And now you need to build some more of the stone roofs like this. So you might have to jump or you can place one there. We place a few more across like this. So we can just do the four. That is absolutely fine. We will do the wooden bench right about here. So as you can see, it's sort of that distance away from it. And once that is built, we will then build another one right on top of it like that. And disassemble the one at the bottom like that so you can see the bench will stay floating. So we jump on top of the bench and get rid of this corner here and this corner here and it will get rid of all four platforms. So we'll just transfer to the small settlement or any of the places that have guards in, get ourselves a wanted level as you can see and now teleport back to where we were earlier. There we go. So now we are there, we just take the flying mount back in get ourselves a melee weapon out and angle ourselves so they spawn on this like that. And now we just spam hit. There we go. So now they should just start falling down. So they all die from falling damage and there is loads of stuff on here that I can just take. Beautiful stuff. And now if you want to get rid of them, simply just return to the title and then log back in. So this next glitch is insane. It's such a good idea because you don't have to fight the alpha pal every single time. It is a way of getting the loot from any alpha pal in the entire game if it has a mount. So we're gonna use the Jetragon as an example. So in the party, I can show you that it has the alpha little symbol there. So what we do is we need the meat cleaver because we need to butcher the pal. Every single time that you butcher a pal, it slices them twice. And after the second slice, you hold down to mount the pal and then it will just glitch out 
and you will show you what to do next. So we will butcher the Jetragon here. So we'll listen for the second one. There we go. And as it dies, you then mount it like that. And you can see it's a very, very weird thing because it thinks I'm mounted and I can't move off it. So I just dismount like that. He will drop through the map or just fall on the floor and I'll just take him back in. And obviously I can't take him back out again because they think it's dead. So we go into the party, drop the pal like that on the floor, throw it on the floor again and he's alive. So what we can do is we can do it once more to show you how to do it again. So one slice, two slice, and then do it again. Left hand side, it shows I've got all of the loot from it. And this has a very, very high chance of getting the rare schematics from it as well. So it can be really, really handy and very, very beneficial if you don't want to keep fighting the alpha pals in the game. So this last glitch is a really, really cool glitch and I think people know about it already, but just to let you know, it still works and it works with any of the bosses in the game. And I really, really like this one. It's satisfying to watch and I'm gonna do it to the Palladius. The last two bosses in the game because there's actually two in one. So I need to find them around here somewhere. I think they're up here. There they are. Okay, so what we will do is we will dismount hold to attack aggressively, throw our chiller out and hopefully be able to freeze one of them. There we go. And then boom, up in the sky. And he should be falling down any second. Come on. Where is he? Is he still falling? Let's get this guy as well. Oh my god, that was a hard attack. There we go. Second one goes up in the sky. And then he cracks out, and then, boof, he is dead. I'm not sure where the other one went, he just flew in the sky. I think I've completely bugged out the pal. Well, anyway, that about sums it up. If you did enjoy the video, please smash a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.